Hello, my name is Martin and this is the 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Megabox Monday, I'm going to have a look at a glass fiber nylon from Fiberforts in Italy. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is from Fiberforts in Italy and it's called glass fiber nylon. They say here that you should print at 240 to 260 degrees and I was printing at 250 degrees and here they say that you should print at, at room temperature to 70 degrees and using glue stick and I was using glue stick on my PI sheet and actually I had a little bit of magic glue also on the glue stick and had good results with that and the print speeds are 30 to 70 millimeters per second and they say here the nylon is reinforced with glass fiber and improving stiffness and maintaining toughness and you should use a hardened nozzle so I was using my ruby nozzle on my MK3 printer when testing this filament so looking at the prints this one looks like a mess and that's because it is I was having a lot of stringing issues and this as a nylon filament is quite difficult to print without stringing issues so it's expected with a nylon filament but here I was um, just testing out anyways just to see how it would go um, the layer adhesion on the strands were not so good I was not having very good layer adhesion though uh, the pegs break off rather easily but uh, layer bonding was pretty good though on the item itself I can bend it in all directions and it is very strong bend the plate in all directions and it seems to be pretty strong uh, though the strands were not coming out really good and maybe there was some moisture in the filament and that's my guess as it is a nylon filament if the filament has moisture in it a layer adhesion will not be very good but after this print I printed out the printing test um, that as you can see had some stringing um, but the bridges itself came out pretty good there was a little bit of drooping on the longest span here but otherwise the, the bridging was doing pretty good um, those strings are something that you should expect with a nylon filament so it's not a not an issue of this particular nylon it's just a trait of the nylon filaments and then printed out this overhang test um, that came out excellent I didn't have any special issues it's difficult to see maybe on the white filament but there's almost no issues on the top, uh, only a slight issue at the top most part and the end is looking pretty good so there was no drooping happening so overhang performance with this filament is very good and it's pretty pretty strong it's quite difficult to, to break and it's a tough material I printed then the, the break tests and this one that was printed on the bed like this I'm going to try to break that one. It was quite difficult, difficult to break. Um, I'd say it's rather strong. Um, here on the, this one is printed like this. And here I had uh, not so good layer adhesion. So maybe that has something to do with moisture in the filament. Uh, normally nylon would be very tough. And I printed out a part of Mr. Belly, my mascot, and that was just done for fun. And like you see, it has some stringing issues. And here, I, at this point, I cancelled the print, but it was turning out pretty good. Uh, and, but like before, layer adhesion was not very good. And I think that is moisture issue. I then decided to print out a mechanical part, and this is just a like a hunk piece that I can put on underneath a table and have something laying like cables on here and, and this one is is pretty strong this has four parameters in the print and it's very strong I would say and I might use this at a later time I'm not gonna break it but it is quite difficult to bend it and so you can get very strong um, parts like mechanical parts that don't require very good fine detail this was printing out really good finally I printed out the maker coin and here at the top I had some 
clogging issues on the nozzle. Um, uh, I had to, and I noticed this when the print was finished. It was just uh, I had to do a cold pull uh, with it. As you can see, it's just under extruded because of the clogged nozzle. But I was able to clean it out without any issues, so it was not a not a big thing. But the print came out pretty good. The letters here on top are a little bit damaged because of the under extrusion, but other than that, um, the face came out pretty good and the letters in the back came out pretty good, so I was quite happy with this. So this was my look on the Fiberfort Class Fiber Nylon. Overall, I think this is a very strong mechanical filament. It's difficult to get fine details with a nylon because of stringing, and that's just a part of the nylon. It's not of this particular brand. But for mechanical parts, it's very strong and very rigid. Um, I was quite happy with the strength of the filament on the mechanical part I printed out. So this is something that you have as an alternative to carbon fiber nylon. I'm not sure if carbon fiber or glass fiber filament is better or worse. But at least this is an alternative. Maybe you have some ideas on how to use this instead of carbon fiber nylon. But Fiber Forts has carbon fiber I've tried out before. So this will be my video on the Fiber Forts from Italy. And I was quite happy with this filament. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.